good morning from La Jolla, California. That's right, today we are actually out in the San Diego area in one of my favorite places of all time. When we get out here, it is just such a breakaway from the norm and I'm just super excited to share it with you. On the right hand side, you see the La Jolla Shores Hotel, which is one of these little secret hidden gems, if you will. Just behind it is the actual La Jolla Shores Beach. Right there is the La Jolla Shores uh, overall country, the country club. It is a phenomenal place to get away from the heat of the desert if you're like me out in Arizona. But if you're from any place else, this is just one of the coolest little beach towns that nobody talks about. We're going to take a bit of a drive today. We're going to start out in La Jolla Shores, which is where we are. We're down in the valley close to the beach. Here's a little the kitschy main street right up ahead. You can see the restaurants and the establishments have sort of made some adjustments based on our current state and all in all things have actually been pretty busy. La Jolla Shores Park is just behind us and now we're heading south and you can see how it rises up from the shore there behind us and actually heads up the hill. La Jolla itself sort of sits up on a bit of a cliff and a hill that overlooks the ocean. These houses are just absolutely gorgeous. They go for an average of let's say three million dollars. You can get some for under a million but there's going to be a lot of rehab involved and I know many of the ones up on the hill will go as high as five to ten million. So now we're getting up to the main drag. So this is Torrey Pines, which is, Torrey Pines Road is the main drag that leads really from I-5 over the hill towards the town of La Jolla itself, or to the right over towards La Jolla Shores. If you compare the streets and traffic here to like some of the other videos I have on my channel from the Arizona, uh, Phoenix, Arizona area, you can see the big difference is just the size of the streets. Phoenix being a newer town tends to build multi-lane, you know, big through fares. And San Diego, these streets, you know, you just don't have a lot of room. On the right, the houses are actually below the street line as it heads down towards the ocean. And then you can see on the left going up into the hills. If you keep your eye on the right hand side, you'll see the fog bank out there. You also might actually see the ocean pop up into view. We're climbing up, as you can tell. We're going to come over the top of this and drop down into the village of La Jolla. It's just so gorgeous to see all of the flowers in bloom and all the trees. Look at those houses rising up the hill. All have great views. We're going to come up here on Torrey Pines and we're going to take a, a right on Prospect Place, which is actually, you could call it the main drag. It'll take you downtown, as you'll see, and it'll also take you to the actual beach. Kind of, It's not quite a beach, but it's more of a, the coastline, if you will, where it's a little more jagged. They've got cliffs and rocks and a lot of seals. Uh, in a couple of my other videos, if you go on the channel, and go on the way back, um, you'll see we actually were in that area, did a walk around, and you can really check out the, the seals, the sea lions, there's, there's a lot of diving, um, some scuba diving, it's fun. So this is the village of La Jolla. And we're on what could, could be considered Main Street. The hotels here are pretty fantastic. They're known for the like, the, you, and you can look this up at the Grand Colonial, the La Jolla Cove Hotel and Suites, and the Inns by La Jolla. All of these hotels, at any given time, will be full. There's no occupancy at all.
the, house, the buildings on the right, restaurants, dukes, all of these are just little hideaways and holes that you can go in. They really get busy in the evening. And then behind us, behind that, it drops down to the ocean. There's a, it's just almost like they built it on the side of a cliff and then it ends up at Shell Beach. We just passed Duke's, which is a famous restaurant that I guess originally started out in Hawaii, but has started to move into the mainland. And there's a Starbucks. We're going to go to dinner there later. But on the right is the La Valencia Hotel. This is a famous hotel. 1926 it started. It's considered a luxury hotel. It's also sort of known as the Pink Lady, as you can tell why. But what I know is when you go into the lobby of this hotel, it overlooks the ocean. It's incredible Spanish style architecture and they actually recently renovated it in the last 18 months so I'm gonna have to check it out I think I'm gonna try to get a room there the next time we're in town it just seems like it'd be a lot of fun in between these buildings on the right hand side you have these peekaboo views of the ocean and these restaurants on the left hand side have sidewalk seating so if you get the right table you can be out there enjoying a taco or, you know, just a uh, plate of nachos or something while you're looking across at the ocean. We're going to go left here. I've heard a lot about that coffee place right there. I think we're going to check it out. And then Richard Walker's Pancake House, phenomenal. If you get a chance, if you're in the San Diego area, you've got to go to Richard Walker's Pancake House. They, the pancakes there are just different. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the air. Maybe it's the temperature or just the destination, but they are just different. Sorry, gang, had a little camera problem, but as I was saying, Richard Walker's Pancake House and Better Buzz are two places we definitely try to stop in when we can. We're heading on Fay Avenue south. If we keep on this road and just keep going south, we'll hit Ocean Beach, but we just passed the... Uh, in by the sea at La Jolla, which is not directly, you know, on the, on the ocean, but it is a good option for a hotel. It's relatively low priced in relation to the other hotels, and it's something we've looked at too. But let's head down a little bit more towards some of the residential areas here. So, I'm Silverado right now, and is the road we're on, and you can see coming up just the architecture. We just passed St. James by the Sea Episcopal Church, and now we're going to go left on Prospect again. And as I was mentioning, Prospect will actually take you to Ocean Beach. So if you stay on Prospect long enough, all of a sudden you'll you'll literally be popping right into Ocean Beach, which is a, which is a completely different style of ocean town. And maybe in the future I'll do a video there. It's just a completely different feel. It's a little bit more of the um, bohemian style neighborhoods. So woven inside these apartments and condos is also some art galleries and um, a couple of sports clubs that are sort of built in recreation clubs if you will we're going to turn on Covier Street that's the other thing too if you watch the other videos that I've done in the past from the Phoenix area everything's on a grid pattern out there and what I love about driving in this area is nothing's on a grid pattern everything just winds in overlaps and crosses and there's and that, look at that I mean it's just an absolute disregard for north south east west but it's a lot of fun. So you can start to see the change. It gets a little more bohemia. There's a little bit more um, chains, gas stations, things you would see, I guess you could say in a you know, normal anywhere town in the USA. You can really feel the difference from downtown La Jolla Village 
to out here. This is going to be more where the houses are, where the industry is, where offices and buildings and just what we might see elsewhere. If you're doing Airbnb and Verbos, this is also where you'll probably want to end up getting. Um, one, because if you go left up the hill, you really start to have the ocean views. If you go straight, you have Ocean Beach. We mentioned we're just a couple of blocks from downtown La Jolla. And then you also have La Jolla Boulevard, which is coming up. You take a left there, and that'll take, that'll take you over the hill to the San Diego Metro, if you will. I love this area. I love the green, I love the trees, the architecture. You can really feel just the uniqueness of this coastal town. with the ocean just on the right of us some of these houses over here have just direct ocean views and I would imagine if you were able to snag a Airbnb or you know, rent one of these out it would be for to make for an amazing weekend maybe we'll have to do that one time if we do we'll definitely make sure to capture it but I love this area I love the huge eucalyptus trees you can tell I get excited when we're driving in the San Diego area because it is just such a different experience. I hope you enjoyed it too. Downtown La Jolla Village. A lot of fun. Hey, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please go ahead and do that. That would be awesome. Um, click the like button and the bell for this video. It will keep you up to date on the latest. I'm doing driving videos from all over the Southwest. I've got one coming up from Las Vegas. For those of you who follow me, Primarily for Arizona videos, there's going to be one coming from Dunlap, uh, which is a corridor in Phoenix, as well as we're going to Wickenburg. We're going to take some drives to some out-of-the-way places for fall. Like we're, I'm calling it the road less travel. But all in all, I love these, these drives. I love making these videos. I love hearing where you guys want to go next. And speaking of that, if you have an idea where you want us to go next, put it in the comments below. I'll grab the camera and we'll head that way. But thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys for your comments, for your likes, for all the support. These videos are just a ton of fun to make. I hope you enjoy them. And as always, thanks so much for watching.